Honestly, I think we've already pushed the Overton window way beyond its boundaries. I think over the next three years, we're going to see the Overton window move back to an earlier period. We can be pretty assured that in the upcoming midterms, we're going to have a Republican majority Congress. Voting is one of the few ways we can actually truly get an idea of how people really feel about issues. Now, whether the claims are true or not, whether they're exaggerations or not, right-wing propaganda has been very, very effective over the last couple years. They have people terrified for a variety of reasons. Biden has less of a chance of getting a second term than Jimmy Carter did in 1980. And it's very likely that DeSantis will be the Republicans' choice, whether it's because Trump is ineligible to run again or because the Republicans just don't like him anymore for whatever reason. Maybe there's another scandal that actually shows as being true to them. They, they believe that it's a real scandal, you know? There, there could be anything that could happen between now and, and 2024. So, But you can guarantee that all the things, or most of the things anyway, that DeSantis talks about wanting to do, he'll try to implement on a national level. To those who thought Trump was fascist, wait till they get a load of DeSantis's Christian supremacy. Pay attention now. He's smart, he's effective, he makes people angry without having to insult anyone. He does what he says, and he's a Christian supremacist. Under DeSantis, we're likely to get the American equivalent of Russia's gay propaganda bill, or law, from 2013. Obviously going much further than Florida's parental rights in education law, or you know, otherwise known as the don't say gay bill. So buckle up, we're in for a rough road again. Well, the one good thing about if we get DeSantis instead of Trump is that we won't be fostering the culture of bullying anymore. People will act a lot more reasonable while they're taking away our rights in the name of their religious book. Have a joy, joy day!